So the Jack X team invited a bunch of us press folks to a live stream preview of Transformers Universe, their self-monikered MOTA, or massively online tactical action game, which can best be described as a fast-paced, battle-centric tactical action game with a selection of game modes for core gamers, casual gamers, and Transformers enthusiasts alike. The stream was unfortunately embargoed, so we can't show you the gameplay footage itself, but I can spill the beans on exactly what I saw. Deep Sigh of Relief, yes, it's a browser game, but it does not scream cheap browser knockoff um, with some transforming car skins. From what we saw in the stream, the graphics aren't super detailed and crisp, but that may be because it's just an early build, but they were not something that would like cause you to lose interest at first sight. They, they looked very solid. We got to take a look at a two types of gameplay modes. One was an open free roam type mode where you join up with others and battle PvE enemies and get some Energon, which is the in-game currency, and a PvP deathmatch arena where your goal was, obviously, to kill everyone in sight. I'll mention that this mode featured no towers, no lanes, or minions, so it's not MOBA-like, like a lot of people have been talking about. It just kind of, it had tall buildings, streets, plenty of areas for cover, tactics, and fast movement was kind of the name of the game there. We only got to see a few of the actual Transformers in actions, but they will have plenty, falling into one of 12 classifications. You'll be able to adjust your bot's loadout and even switch on the fly during the game, after death of course. There are obviously two different battle modes, one as a vehicle and one standing on your legs as a robot. The driving is like fast and furious, drifting around tight corners and dashing into fights while transforming on the fly, which is pretty awesome. The CCO said the game is about positioning, working the terrain, and moving quickly in battle, so that sounded pretty neat. The game has a plethora of different Transformers. There's the classic ones you'll remember from the cartoons and movies, and some new ones that were created specifically for the game, so um, that'll be interesting to see. You can also view them on the game's website as they kind of release them. They'll be adding more and more to the website. And that was about all we saw in the stream. You can see more on the website, like I mentioned, where you can also buy a Founders Pack, which starts at about $45, which to me is a little steep, and goes up to as much as $450, which is definitely pretty steep. But hey, if you got the money, you want to try it out, you like Transformers, then that's probably for you. There's no news on a release date or when we can actually play the game, but I'm sure that will be coming soon. So that's what we have for Transformers Universe from Jagex. Please leave this video a like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.